what's up welcome back to my youtube channel i'm actually in a big rush right now i'm having like a little birthday party slash farewell party because i'm moving in like less than 30 days it starts in about like 40 minutes and i just got baby girl down so i need to do my makeup super fast and get dressed and hopefully she doesn't wake up in the next like 30 minutes so I can finish. So I'm gonna just do my makeup super fast. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I have some vlogs coming. Um, and yeah, so just, I'm just gonna be talking this whole time. And if it skips around, then you know why. It's cause I was in a rush and I got sidetracked. Anyways, I'm gonna do my everyday simple ass makeup that I literally do every time I do my makeup. It hasn't changed. I use mostly drugstore products, so comment if you want to know what's up but honestly you guys probably know about most of these products if you guys watch YouTube people I personally do not know how to do makeup I just know how to do my own makeup you know I get by I'm using this I just got it from TJ Maxx for like three dollars so this was in my thrift store Goodwill vlog so I'm just gonna start on makeup now because literally I have like two minutes now so what am I even doing oh fuck, I forgot something so I'm usually like a really big planner I just sprayed my face with this. Sheesh. Usually I'm like a type of person that has everything planned out. Um, so everything is ready. And I'll hopefully get to show you guys like my little decorations. I went to the dollar store and got so many decorations for super cheap and made it look cute downstairs. So hopefully I can show you guys that if I get done on time with my makeup. I use a lot of drugstore products. This is like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte, and I got 310. Honestly, I feel like I need a darker shade. I've been using the same shade for years, no matter what. Vacation, post-vacation, winter. Like, I need to get my shit together and get an actual color that, you know, fits me. But like I said, I just do this for me, and it's good enough for me. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I'm usually the type of person that has everything planned out. So I actually decorated the whole house. Everything is clean, ready to go for the actual party. Baby girl is dressed and ready. I have hand sanitizer out everywhere. I have everything out. The thing I didn't get ready is myself. So I'm doing that. I'm doing like a rush job right now, but trust me, it'll make a big difference and I'll just feel better. I'm not even sure if this is like, whatever it's gonna have to fucking do literally i'm in a rush like my heart is pounding and it's pathetic actually like i should put some on my neck what do you think i'm actually moving nine hours away back home if you know where i'm from I'm from the bay area and right now i'm living in socal i've been out in socal throughout socal around um for the past since 2017 actually um, for nursing school and then my husband and everything like that. We're just finishing up his work here And then now we're actually going back to the Bay Area and I move on Like in a few weeks. So my birthday was a week ago Exactly one of my friends out here her birthday is today. We we're both 28. So that's really cool. So I was like a little birthday thing slash like last gung-ho before I leave back to the Bay Area because never gonna see most of these people ever again. Unfortunately, I love these people. New friends, new experiences, everything like that. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I literally put this shit everywhere for no fucking reason, but whatever. And then Beauty Blender, the one I got for $3, it's actually so soft. It feels way better than like the orange Real Techniques one that I get. It feels so good. Anyway, so it's gonna be kind of bittersweet leaving because even though I'm so happy to go back home and be with all my family, like all my family, I have no family out here, um, but I am gonna miss everyone that I've, I met in Southern California. And that goes to like where I went to school, like my classmates that I've made really great relationships with. They live out in Southern California. Obviously it was a SoCal school and um, just everyone out here where I currently live in the desert. But I am really happy to be going back home because it is really hard um, 
like having a newborn and not having any extra family to help. You literally do need like an entire village to raise a kid. And that's the truth. Very exciting, but SoCal was like a really big thing in my life. So let me just have to move on and like grow. Oh, this one was also Maybelline Fit Me number 20 that I'm gonna use this. This shit smells good, whatever this is. Oh, Physician's Formula. This shit smells like it's just summer. Like you guys, I have no makeup skills, okay? So don't brag on me. I don't do it like horribly, but probably not the most professional way. I also have like my baby's monitor right here. I'm like spazzing out because the battery's about to die. I just, I hate being late to things. People who know me, you know, I'm early. I'm like one of those, like if you're not 10 minutes early, you're fucking late. You should try to hurry up. My husband says I look the same with or without makeup. He's a damn lie. He's a damn lie. But uh, you guys, I'm, I actually got a ring light. I'm gonna just show you real quick. It's not on, because I'm in a rush. So I'm trying to, you know, step my quality up, because I don't know, this shit's fun. And like, why not step your quality up? If people start showing up and I'm like, still up here, that's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. I don't do much to my eyebrows. I just fill them in a little bit with some like pencil. For my blush, I use the Milani uh, Luminoso. This shit's super cute. I never really used a blush like that before, but this shit makes a difference. Now this cheek is also cute. I mean, it's like it's such a cute color. And I just, just put that shit everywhere. <laughs> I haven't gotten wasted in a really long time, obviously, because I was pregnant. A little bit more blush. This shit's the one. If you ain't on it, then get on it, girl. It's Milani Luminoso. I always add just a little bit of um, my highlighter. This is the Maybelline again. Maybelline, what's up? I just put some on my pinky and I put some on like little tip of my nose, like that. And I just like dab that shit within, you know? Like, oh, she doesn't have highlight on, she just glows. But really, I don't glow. Dang it. Fuck it up the process. I just put a little bit of this. And whatever, I just wanna go on there. I don't bake, but I like, I put it on there anyway. I don't know what this is called. Setting it, it makes a difference. Uh, I used a number 10 and I put some on my smile line, my smile line. <laughs> I'm fucking rushing you guys. <laughs> Not cool, but you know, sometimes your makeup be coming out the most decent on those days where you're just like, I don't give a fuck. It's just gonna come out however it's gonna come out because that's the truth. What do I need to do? Oh, I usually put a little bit of the thing in the corner of my eyes, so I look like a cute bitch, but like, still ugly though. Know? Just for some glow. Y'all see that? So the little bronze. Oh, on my eyes, I literally just use this, my bronzer. I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple girl in a simple way. Mascara, Maybelline. I feel like I'm like a lame ass bitch because I don't wear falsies where I don't get my extensions, like lash extensions. I really do feel like it makes a big difference. It makes people look so beautiful, like and cute. I used to feel like I had like long eyelashes, but now everybody else has like longer lashes and mine just feel like little puny pieces of nothing. And I just can't put on falsies to save my life. So but for now, Girl just does mascara. You guys do that face? <laughs> Why do we do that? All right, guys. So see how it makes a little difference? Like I look like a little different, you know? I look ready to party. Ready to party. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Though I'm gonna put my little Mac strip down. Sharpen. 
and I pretty much just wear uh, this lip liner on my whole lip. Do you guys see this little bump on my lip? No shade, okay guys? I got beat the fuck up when I was 18 by a group of bitches. And that right there, my lip was literally like hanging the fuck off. The doctor came and sewed that shit back on. But there's like this big bump on my lip now. Wow, that was 10 years ago. Oh my God, 10 years ago, almost exactly. That shit happened tomorrow. I mean, the 18th of July, 2010. I got beat the fuck up. I'm all reminiscing and it got all sad real quick. <laughs> Damn, it got sad real quick. So yeah, I literally just put this shit on my whole entire lip. Eventually it'll get crusty, but and so then, let's get enough. Oh, I think I'm done. I did, I think everything. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and like throw on some clothes, literally probably just a t-shirt because nothing fits me really right now. Cause you know, postpartum or whatever, but I'm gonna throw something on and then I'll try to record a little bit after the little potty, but I'm not trying to be in everybody's face like, for the camera so um i'm gonna see y'all in the next clip and um if you're still watching you're the real one thank you and okay i'm gonna get going <laughs> all right guys i literally just threw whatever the fuck on so i got these compression leggings from they're not very compressing they're like kind of loose but i got these leggings for two dollars or some shit um i just posted that video previously so watch that shit I have my little section belly but that's okay and i'm just gonna throw like a cardigan over this and get going my baby just woke up so i'm like fucking rushing so i'll see you guys in the next clip all right guys my baby literally woke up right when i finished people should start coming right now i'm very sad i didn't get to record my party it was so fun cheers to 28 <laughs>